66 hours later. We are going to get to our stop to get our pickup done. So we'll see you when we get there. That is 10 miles per hour. Proceed to the high-riding route. So as long as we stay under 10, they should have no problem with me. Got my flashers on just to make sure people can see me. Outbound truck shipping. Inbound trucks receiving. Oh, 
we're going to outbound, so there we are. All right, duty status, yes arrived. All right, so I'm in line, I'm at the front of the line, waiting to get my piece put on. And if you want, look at the gantry crane, you know, assistant here, they're widening this, uh, the, the, the hooks and the straps for, for the piece I'm going to be getting. So the truck in front of me, his pieces are, you know, eight foot wide approximately. I got a piece that's 14 foot wide. At least that's what I'm being told. And by what they're doing here with this gantry crane and spreading it out, that appears to be absolutely true. So they got that nice and wide. So now they're gonna go get the piece. I don't know, I don't I don't know exactly which piece it is. But you know, whatever, you know, we'll get it on the truck, we'll get it evenly balanced left to right so basically two foot nine inches on each side for an overhang Alrighty, righty, righty. Now we can actually get ourselves low dead. Got my gloves. Get my find my keys here. I shouldn't need any, you know, gotta get my height stick out and jazz like that, so you know, I need my keys in my pocket. Come on, dang it. Put a pin up here, and we should be good to go. All right, well, let's take a look at what we got here. All right, so we got flags and banner, they're all set up and ready to go. We're gonna have our, we're gonna turn our beacons off because of the size we got here. A little more, all right, yeah. You want me to pull up a little bit more here, so thought I thought I moved up and out of the way, but just a little bit more. Whoops. Alright, so we're gonna pull up just a little bit more here. So we don't need to be in nobody's way. Yeah, that should be good enough, I think. Hopefully. All right, so let's take a look at this. Grab my gloves here. All right, so here's what we got. Big AO box, mostly empty. It's for cooling. So this is gonna, this plywood will be removed when they install it. So we're gonna chain down here. We're gonna pull that up there in a 45. Let's go to a 45 so we can get up to there. We'll put a little bit of padding on this, on the edge of the metal here. We'll put some padding here. That way we can pull that around without damaging this section here. So pull that, get that pulled back to here. 
and then the back is open because it, you know it's not going to get that kind of uh, damage and this metal here which is the same thickness all the way around not really strong enough to put any kind of securement on so these are the load points here and then of course we got flags banner we got the beacon on the back there i moved my uh i moved this to the the bulkhead to the back that's done it to the back so that looks it tied out points at the four corners it weighs about fifteen thousand. it unfortunately they confused the pieces with another truck so the truck the load that i was supposed to get which is a little just a tiny bit shorter this one's a little bit taller so we have a uh, we got to call that in once we uh, get ourselves secure get our per go for our permits but other than that we are pretty pretty good to go so like i said right well we got ourselves as set as we can be so we have been in contact with our pilot car We have been, we have sent off our pictures to securement. The managers, We've made our request for our permits with the people who are in charge of permits. So we are going to be just sitting here and waiting. You know, there's, there's not else we can really do No. So our permit guy is, well, when I spoke to him just a couple minutes ago, he's down in Tracy. So he's about an hour and a half away from me right now. It is 12.24. So he's not going to get here till almost two o'clock let me do our permits here so we're above the max height on our annual permit for for uh, for California 
we are over the max width so this permit will not let me go anywhere okay so all permit vehicles are authorized 24 7 until the loaded width exceeds 16 foot when the loaded 660 foot on yellow roads will be escorted by California Highway Patrol you don't have to worry about that let's see here mm, we do not exceed all right, hours of darkness, including weekends. Uh, all permit vehicles are authorized to travel during hours of darkness until the load width, loaded width exceeds 14 foot. We don't exceed 14 foot. When load exceeds 14 foot, travel during you know hours of darkness. Not authorized. With a pilot car. So that's that's the rule we have to go by. Daylight hours, coding weekends, all permit vehicles off the travel loaded, see 15 foot, blah blah blah. Hours of darkness. We so during daylight hours only. Okay, uh, let's see. We are uh, permitted to travel into the night at up to 14 foot. So we can go the rest of the freaking day. You know, all the way to Arizona. We have about six hours remaining. Six and a half hours remaining for the day. Ah! Oh well, we are stuck. So, I'm going over here to find somebody who can tell me, and here's the load, I'm ready to roll. I just gotta wait for a pilot car to get here. And then I can go down the road. But first, I got to wait for the permits. Then I got to have the pilot car with me. Then I can get get down the road. So there's supposedly a place I could park here on the property. So we're gonna I'm gonna find out from a, a worker here where I can where they want me to move to because I'm sure they don't want me parking right where I'm parking. But, you know, we can only do what we can do. So we're gonna find out and then we will uh, move to that location. Otherwise, we, you know, we're just gonna stay right there, but I seriously doubt they want me to stay right there. They probably have a, a different parking lot outside the fence or something. Right, let me. Once again, I am delayed. So I'm not getting to uh, Dallas until Friday at the earliest. All right, let's find out what we're doing here. So I, I need to adjust my outrigger mirrors here a little bit. I'm gonna, we're gonna stretch those out so I can actually see around my load. And I gotta swing it just a little bit wider because I am wider. here just 
because it's a this spot right here and it said there's a trailer over there so this is where we will be on a dusty dirty no services no comfort kind of area we see the wind blowing in the most advantageous spot for myself and really to heck with anybody else because I get to be a jerk just like everybody else gets to be once in a while whilst they do it 24-7. Bit of potholes gotta worry about. Ugh. Dusty, dirty, nasty. All right, well. This is where I am being. Oh, there we go. All right, workflow, depart, duty status, uh, off duty. Oh, well, well, you know. That's the nature of trucking. I want to try, let me see here. Uh, choose destination, history. Get a new route, there we go. So we are just a little bit under 14 foot. Like they're calling it 14 foot no matter what. It's actually 166 inches instead of 168 inches. I'm 14 foot three tall, but two and three quarters, but just say 14 three tall. I'm legal length, legal weight. And according to Rand McNally right now, we got just about 1,600 miles to go. So we're gonna point of interest, my route, travel centers. We're gonna see how far out we can uh, push this. All right. So let's see, Gallup, New Mexico. We'll set that as a waypoint. That is via, add to start, loaded. So Gallup, New Mexico. The pilot flying J there, that's 816 miles. Not, the, not, not everything we need or want, but we're gonna use that as a starting point. Basically, that's halfway. A day and a half for travel, that's halfway. So we're going to do the same thing again, my route, travel centers. Scroll all the way to the bottom.
Winslow, Arizona, the Flying J there. We will set that as a waypoint at the start, loaded. Six hundred seventy two miles. We we'll use that as a waypoint. And we're just going to keep repeating that. You know, that same, you know, methodology all the way along. So let's see here. Let's use, what is this? This is Belmont, Arizona. Williams, Arizona at the Lubs. We'll use that as another waypoint. And like I said, we'll adjust that as we go along. I don't, I don't set this in stone. You know, when I'm doing my route planning, it's basically what's the most advantageous, you know, to do once we get things set. So from Gallup, New Mexico to Dallas, Texas is 782 miles. Not too bad. It is 580 miles to Williams, Arizona from here. So we'll just, you know, try to plan a little bit, but other than that,